Well, hey there, you're on the internet, I have some free time, and welcome to the Triple N Network, where all you newbie nib nerds can find all the news you'll need. Let's look at an ink today, shall we? Today's ink, I have in sample form, Diamine Damson. Now, I can't tell you really what Damson is. Um, I've never seen it. I know it's some kind of berry. Uh, when my mom came back from England, she brought Damson flavored jam, and the only thing I could tell you that it tasted like was generic jam flavor. But apparently they're purple, so, uh, yeah, Damson. All the tests were done in this Hero X450 with a standard nib. Usually these nibs I find are pretty broad writing. This one seems to be a more genuine medium. It's not overly wet, I didn't fiddle with it. Let's look at the chromatography. As you can see, if my camera would focus, as you can see it's a dark purple. It's a dusky purple. Uh, there's some potential for staying, but not much. So it's sort of a gray, dusty purple into a more vibrant purple and then almost an ebony purple right around the edge. So let's check out the paper test. Claire Fontaine, 90 grams per square meter. 21 seconds to dry, which isn't too bad. I feel like this is great shading. However, I feel like part of why it's such great shading is because where it's light, it's because the ink appears to be somewhat thin. But uh, it's rather nice. Good flow, rich color. Uh, no bleed feather spread. Yeah, you see, not great, but little bits there. Next is Rhodia, 80 grams per square meter. 20 seconds to dry, so a little bit of improvement. Great shading. I feel like it gets. I feel like it gets darker on this paper. I feel it. Eh. Anyways, good flow, no bleed feathers spread. I said, like, of this ink, this is probably my preferred pen paper ink combo. Mm, that would be recoverable. It wouldn't necessarily be the easiest to read, but it would be recoverable. Next is Tumbleway River Paper, where the dry time was a little long, but I hope you can see that. It's like a gold purple sheen and I said sheen is purple that's why it's not very easy to see but uh, no bleed feather spread I'm, I really enjoy these dark sort of dusty purples uh, more than sort of the bright in your face purples water test isn't bad considering this is Tumbleway River but since it's such a dark ink echo might be a bit of an issue Here's that awful new 20 pound copier paper where I said the spread is insane cray cray and bleed is nasty. Uh, the ink is still kind of nice but it's it's flat, it's not as, it doesn't have as much character. The water test is just disgusting and look at that. I really, I really hate this paper. I'm gonna find new paper. Next is Mead notebook paper, where it took three seconds to dry, and there's bleed, feather, and spread. Said, so don't feel I can recommend this ink paper combo even in a finer nib, just because of the way it behaves, like in the writing, the feathering, and the spread. Uh, the water test could be worse, but it is kind of explodey and kind of feathery. So. Mm -hmm. Now, here's what kind of surprised me. Moleskin notebook paper. Seven seconds to dry, but you get shading. Hmm. Huh. But you get these weird kind of feathers that I call the spur type, where you get like one big spike instead of like a thousand little furry things. I'm going to try and hold this still so you can see it. Like the bee and bleed. Yeah. So, the exclamation point and minimal. And, look at that. There's like, the, there's like a dot or two, but 
even the water test didn't really come through that much. So I don't know what to make of this. Usually inks that act this way on these papers don't act this way on this paper, but yeah, so in a finer nib or a drier writer nib, drier writing nib, <laughs> it might do well on moleskin paper. So there you go for your consideration. Diamine Dampson. It's a nice purple, it's a dark purple, it's a dusky purple. Uh, I rather like it. Um, it's fairly well behaved on acceptable papers and even on moleskin papers, which is surprising. And I actually prefer it to ebony purple, which is just a little too black to give off much purple. So there you go. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching. Bye.